Is it really possible to go from zero to three million in less than four years? Well, yes, it is. I'm here at Moltax Engineering. Let's find out how they've done it. Myself um, and my business partner, Ashley Meisen, uh, we registered the company back in November 2016. Um, first machine arrived in December um, of that year, and we sold our first components in January. Um, first machine we purchased was a HSM 600U 10 pallet machine by Micron. Right from the outset we knew that we wanted to focus on automation and try and um, utilise unmanned machining hours as much as possible. In the beginning, obviously just being the two of us, extremely tough, high customer demands, keen to deliver and do exactly what we set out to do from the start and just trying to gather the momentum so we could get to a point where we could take on additional resource, be it machine tools and staffing. Obviously at the start it was just myself and Ashley, so a, a huge demand put on us personally. Now it's one thing pumping precision parts out the door day after day, but what about being recognised for the quality of your work? Last year um, we were fortunate enough to receive a couple of accolades, uh, one of which was a local Test Valley New Business of the Year award. Um, and probably our proudest moment to date was um, receiving Mercedes Formula One Metallic Supplier of the Year. We are, we are only human, um, we do make the odd mistake, but when them mistakes arise, we, we sort of aim to put them right almost instantly. Over the last three years, three and a half years, we've invested circa three million pound in facilities, machine tools, zero point fixturing, back end tooling, and inspection equipment. And we will invest in whatever the customer you know, needs us to invest in. And I think, to be honest, that's probably a key to our success today. Now it's evident from walking around the machine shop how integral automation has been in the business's development. Obviously five of the six machines are automated. We try to maximise our automation as much as possible. Uh, the, all of the machines carry Lang single point tooling so uh, to enable us with inspection. Uh, we do run a night shift but skeleton so we try and improve jobs out by day and then run them off by night. If we have any cutter breakages or something, there's more of a, a minder here at night. We also offer programming at night. So to offer a quick turnaround, we can sort of program a job by night, deliver it the next day if we have to. So you obviously lean on this plant to be reliable, don't you? It'd be a disaster if they broke down, do they? Not very often, <laughs> thankfully. Um, no, the reliability of machines has been good. Of course, we've had problems, but you know, throughout my engineering career, you've had problems with, with many different machine brands. Um, same as your car, I guess, but no, reliability really is good. We sort of uh, utilize the sister tooling in the, in the tool table on Hyde 9. Works really well. And, and it's probably the simplest question of the day. Why Open Minds Hypermill? Uh, so we, we started off, I was an open mind user before we decided to um, take the decision to start the business uh, at, a, at a relatively high level. Um, it's a game changer for us really. We've got integrated machine models, the, the programming, the two program on Hypermill I'd say from the use of many cam systems I've used over the years. It's so simple to even train a non-cam user. We have our setter and operators use it as a setting tool as well as a programming tool so they can check the datum of the part, produce a tool sheet, post the uh, NC code into the machines. They also run the verification software uh, to make sure there's no collisions. So for us, yeah, it's um, a game changer. I don't know what, we definitely wouldn't be where we are today without it.